Welcome back to Educator.com. We're in the Calculus 1 sequence and we're looking at the interplay between graphs of f, f prime, and f double prime. And here we're going to take a look at ln of x. So I'll draw a graph of ln of x and then we'll look at its two derivatives. And as in the earlier examples, I really like to keep these plots lined up one below the other so that we can keep track of what's going on in each region of f. Okay, so ln of x has a graph that looks like this. It has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, and it's undefined for negative values of x. So in f prime and f double prime, we don't have to worry about negative values of x because f isn't even defined there. Okay, now notice that f of x has slope values that as x heads towards 0 from the right, those slope values are heading towards positive infinity. So we need our function values for f prime to head towards positive infinity. So I'll put a note to that effect here. f has slope heading towards positive infinity as x heads towards 0 from the right. And so f prime has value heading towards positive infinity. Now f has slope heading towards 0 as x heads towards infinity. So f prime has value heading towards 0 as x heads towards infinity. And we get this sort of graph. And then you'll notice that this looks like 1 over x. And of course, 1 over x is the derivative of ln of x. Now let's move from f prime to f double prime. OK, so f prime has slope heading towards negative infinity as x it's heads towards 0 from the positive side. And f prime has slope heading towards 0 as x heads towards infinity. And this, of course, is a separate comment from the comment right above it. So let me kind of separate those. OK, so f double prime has to have value heading towards negative infinity as x heads towards 0 from the right. And f double prime has to have value heading towards 0 as x heads towards infinity. And here, again, this is not a precise enough graph to determine exactly